hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video here we have an iPhone 8 and if we flip it over turn it on and there you go you guys can see that this iPhone 8 is running iOS 16 so in this video we're gonna take a look at iOS 16 on the iPhone 8 but before we get into this All right, here we are. We're gonna pay our respect to these unsupported device. Starting with numero uno, the one that we all probably already know that's gonna be getting unsupported is the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. So yeah, this device has got iOS 9 up until iOS 15. It is actually the longest supported iOS device that gets updates. Next, it is its own little brother, of course, the iPhone SE first generation so this uh, iphone 5 body and design are now no longer getting updates and stop with ios 15. again we already expect that these two devices will not getting the update of ios 16 but the next device is at least for me is pretty shocking because this device is actually you know a lot of people still use this phone in my country at least a lot of people still use this phone a lot of people still buy this phone second hand in my country and that is the iphone 7 this is the jet black color and it's now no longer getting the ios 16 update which is crazy because this is the iphone the courage iphone to get rid of the headphone jack with the 7 plus dual camera in the portrait mode and the last device is quite shocking too and it has a sweet spot in my heart the ipod touch 7 generation has also got stopped at ios 15 and also this is marking that up until ios 16 that this is the first ios update that will not reaching the iPod Touch. So yeah, these four devices and also the iPad Air 2 and the Mini 4, which is at the A8 chip. It's kind of sad, but life must go on. So let's blow out the candle here. So that made this iPhone 8 from 2017 the oldest iPhone that supports iOS 16. So today we're gonna see how it performs and let me tell you what, it's not that good, right? So what's new in iOS 16? So as you can see, first thing first is the lock screen. I mean, here I have an iPhone on iOS 15. And as you can see, this lock screen has been changed. I think it's iOS 11. And look at that. My oh my, the difference, huh? So basically what you can do in the older one is you can change these signal bars, this date and time. If you have a bright wallpaper, it will change to black. If you have a dark one, it will change to white. But no, ladies and gentlemen, with iOS 16, you have a lot of customization. So yeah, the new lock screen on iOS 16 is quite actually interesting because some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I kind of like it, you know, it's a, re it's a refresh definitely, which is pretty nice, but the sacrifice is all those older iPhones aren't getting support with that. So with the new iOS 16 lock screen, you can actually customize a ton of the stuff on the lock screen here. So first things first is you can tap and hold. So you can see here, I've been tapping hold and you can change it to a lot of presets that is based on your wallpaper and curated by apple so you can see if i scroll here i made someone here like emojis and with photos and color filters and other photos here and if i click down here customize it will actually allows us to change certain elements on lock screens here so usually like i said here in ios 15 you can you cannot change all these uh you know the date and the time you cannot change nothing like that by the way ios 16 ladies and gentlemen you can tap on the date here and you can add some more stuff besides the date. So let me add, how do you say? I'm gonna add the weather here. And you can see up there, the date is a little more shrinked down and I have my little bit weather info. Now if I can tap here, bam, I can now change the font. Let me change the font to this little thin one. And look at this, bajillion color. Also, you can change the gradient as well. So you can see there, I put a little more lighter or more darker. If none of these colors suits you, you can tap this. And you can have billions, billions of gradient colors that you can pick. So that's the clock. Now what's the, the plus under down there? Well, that is your widget. So you now have some kind of glanceable view on your lock screen. So if I tap on the plus here, you can see I can add widgets now under the clock. All right, so if I scroll down here, probably it's like iOS 14 widget 2 with apps and all these things that will get you know more and more because right now like i say it's still, it's still a bit of one all right so it's still a bit lonely here all right so if i want to add for example my battery widget i can tap on that 
I can press this big one. Okay, so you can see there, uh, 67%. That's on the left. Now let's put something on the right here. I'm gonna, let's see if I'm gonna tap on news here. And we'll tap on the news and we'll see if it will pull up something. There we go. We got some news there on your lock screen. So if I remove this news widget here, I actually can now have multiple uh, tiny ones. So if I'm gonna add all these tiny ones, as you can see, there are now tiny widgets into one. And let me go home here. There's a little bug right there. So as you can see here, now I have an interactive widget on my lock screen that's a quick glance information. If I tap on here, it will take me directly to the activity app, which I will touch on that later on. So how is notification will look like on the lock screen? So this is, we all know how it looks like on iOS 15 and lower. And there we go. That's how notification look like now on iOS 16. So it comes now from the bottom instead of the middle. Now notifications comes from the bottom and also you can now swipe down to hide the notification. So you know if you have someone peeping on the side to look at hey, what is the notification? Well you can swipe down to see hey no no you cannot pick it my notification man. Okay now if you want to go to your notification center again this usual scroll up and scroll up once more here to bring it up the notification center right so that's how notifications now look like it's kind of it will take some time we to get used to because like i said yo we are getting used to with the this kind of interface since a while and now the notifications come from the bottom so i'm not done on the last screen here let's go to settings let's go to wallpaper and you can see this a little bit new interface right so if i tap add new wallpaper we suddenly have a lot of options for us to change wallpapers that Apple curated for us, all right? So you can see here we have weather, we have emoji. In fact, I made one with the emoji, so it's perfectly, you know, with the background, like the grass background like that, as you can see right now. We also have some collections here, the unity, the pride, and some color gradient as well. So with this color gradient here, let me pick the red one, so it matches my phone here. With the color gradient one, we have kind of more uh, different theme with the color here. So if I swipe right here, as you can see, the color is kind of different hue and all these things. So you can pick one, the one that you want. Also, you can tap here, change the color up. So if I want orange, a very, very orange here. And again, I can change the gradient as well. And of course, now you can see on the clock as well, it also match the colors. Now, I do found a bug here, of course. It, there won't be a beta one without a bug, all right? So, every time I try to set a wallpaper, so for example there, I tap done, it will automatically set it for my home screen and my lock screen. So there's no way I can set that wallpaper as my lock screen. For some reason, it also changed the home screen. Again, beta one might be the issue. Also, I don't know is this because I am on the iPhone 8, aka the lowest compatible iPhone or that's only available with the swipe gesture iPhones, but there you also an astronomy wallpaper. So it's just a globe 3D animation that's on the last screen, but I don't have it on this iPhone 8. Maybe a hardware limitation issues, I'm not too sure. So this is the now playing control on the last screen. As you can see, it is got a little more teeny tinier as you can see with the control maybe some people like it some people don't i think this is a bug also you can actually tap on it and it will get a bigger control but right now i didn't get any of those all right i got my airpods here uh connected to the ds iphone and now uh, if i add a battery widget here and if i tap on this one you can see also right up there if i have my airpods plugged in it will show the airpods battery also with the battery widget so that's pretty pretty cool actually you can also change the display and notifications here from count stack to list so this one will be you know a little bit more different and also look at this look at this bug man i'm trying to get rid of the notification center but i you know it's corresponding with the control center okay so that is for the lock screen now how about the home screen well if i tap on the home screen here we can now apply a blur. So let me apply a photo here real quick here. All right, so here I'm applying a wallpaper. Now, without any applications or any edit or nada, I can apply a blur straight from the settings app. Or I can use a color gradient as my wallpaper. So I can see here, I put a dark blue wallpaper there. I can choose the gradient pick the more darker or more lighter next one is the messages here so if i go to messages here so i have a message conversation here and some ui elements also has changed now if i try to send a message here okay i tap send 
But then, oh, the fish is not held good. It's salmon. I can just now tap and hold this and head on edit. Yes, you can now edit messages. WhatsApp, take notes, please. All right, so I can now edit it. It's not healthy boot, it's salmon, Sam. And now it will change. So that is a new feature in iOS 16, but this iPhone is on iOS 16. As you can see, it got the unedited message. So that is a little bit issue right now. The next one also is you can unsend messages in iMessage. So if I just tap and hold this. Okay, so I got a notification right here. Hit undo send, boop, it will go away. But as you can see right there, it says the unsend message may still available on older version of iOS. So iOS 15 here, the message is still there. So if you want to play uh, some kind of trick, you cannot do it. Right? Unless the person you're texting to is on iOS 16 as well. But then again, if they have an iPhone 7, you cannot do that, right? Next thing is in mail. Now, I really wish Gmail have this. So let's open up the mail app here. Now, if I want to reply to a message, let's try to a reply message here. You can see right there, we can now able to schedule a message to send. So if I send an email here, I can just tap and hold on the send button here. And look at that, I can schedule a message to send. All right, if I type send later here, I can make this specific date and time. So, you know, so like it's like an automated message. That's cool, right? And not only that, if I send this email, if I send this email and then I was like, oh no, 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 I do not mean to send it. All I can do is tap that down there. What you see right there? Undo send. And that will undo our send and put us back to our messaging editing. So we also now have a new app here. It's called uh, Fitness. So let's just open Fitness here. Now, usually you only got this app if you have an Apple Watch and it will, you know, it will show up and it will show you guys all your move rings. But now, if you guys don't have an Apple Watch, you still now can use the move ring to show your steps and your activities. Let's go to Wi-Fi here and you can see that edit button there. I can now view Wi-Fi. Let me just uh, go here. I can now view Wi-Fi passwords that I've been connected before. This is really helpful because on Android, especially on Samsung's One UI and I think the, the Pixel as well, we can do this for a while and now we're finally able to do it on iOS. The next new feature is, is in sound and haptic. Now, you guys have all probably have an Android. This feature has already been a while since Android 1 probably, all right? So, we got to go to keyboard feedback here and now we got a haptic feedback. So yes, we are trying to do this with jailbreak a while and now finally, it's built in iOS. So now if you type something, if I type something here, we can now have a feedback on our keyboard, like a vibration taptic feedback. And yes, what you see as well there is the new spotlight search. Now um, with other reviewers, I see the page dots turn to the search on my iPhone 8 that don't. Even through I enable search show spotlight, but anywho, the search uh, function is also kind of changing. So this is the one from, you know, since iOS you know you scroll up like that that's how the animation how it look like and now on iOS 16 you can get this animation so if I pull this down slower here as you can see we got this uh, kind of popping up view start it again Boop, like that as you can see it's come from down there search it goes like that the search feature also now also now is much better so you can for example say create and now it will automatically uh, enables us to create a timer from Spotlight, right? Okay, so here I have two medias playing with the Safari media player here. So this is an iOS 15, you could get this uh, user interface. And now with iOS 16, as you can see, everything is more bigger, all right? Everything is more bigger and more, you know, on the center of the control versus this little bit control like that. Another new thing is, is when you set a timer on the lock screen, it's now as a brand new user interface. So let me just uh, show you guys here. So I'm gonna set a timer here, nine minutes, and I'm gonna lock my phone here. And boom, look at that nice animation now compared to iOS 15 here, hold on. Look at that. Which one is better, huh? This one is all, it's not so helpful meanwhile on the iOS 16, other than you get that beautiful animation on the clock ticking down, you got a minute action for to pause the timer, or to stop the timer, which is more useful than just showing the timer on iOS 15. Next is the Photos app, but just teeny tiny things here. Now, usually if you want to try to copy, duplicate, or put a photo to album, 
you're gonna press the share button first here right down here and then go through here so you can see there's all your options well now you don't have to press the share sheet anymore so you see those three dots at the top all you have to do is tap that and now you get all these options so you guys can quickly set all these things up to duplicate add to album and in fact now you can adjust the date and time because sometimes the photo that you took sometimes is incorrect the date info and all these things so now you can set it manually next is these two items at your photo library so these two hidden and recently deleted are pretty you know sensitive information right there right so on ios 15 and 14 you guys can hide the hidden stuff you guys can hide it in the settings but you know if you unhide it then people can access it like normal well not on ios 16 because not only now you can hide the hidden album like usual you can now use your touch id or fingerprint sensor so let me show you guys so now if i go to my photos app and enter the hidden folder I now need my touch ID or fingerprint. So if I enter up a wrong fingerprint here or enter a wrong face, it will now also allows us to put your iPhone passcode right there. So that will be really, really helpful. Or you can go to recent deleted here and we'll do the same thing. Yes, so if I put my fingerprint now, bam, it will finally show if I go back enter it again it always will requires us our fingerprint or our face ID one final thing here I found very very interesting so if I go down here we're gonna go down to privacy and security we're gonna scroll down here and also this is a new safety check so it's for example you know if you share your location or your stuff to other people you know and then you have some bad relationship with that people you can you know revoke that access with this but that's not what I'm talking about here let's go back and scroll down here what do you guys see there it that's a developer mode just like on android let's go ahead and tap here and it will say that if you're developing apps for apple product developer mode will allow you to use features that are required for app development when developer mode is turned on your device security will be reduced something interesting eh? so let's turn them on let's see what's gonna kind of click as you can see there while developer mode is turned on your device security will be reduced all right let's see what's happened will it jailbreak our phone i'm just kidding <laughs> okay so it's now restarting our phone here all right i put on my passcode and now there's another pop-up says developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development let's turn them on and yeah there is i don't see any changes yet so i'm scrolling down here and left and right and there's no changes yet maybe i haven't found it or maybe yeah this is still a beta one none of these things are exist yet but that should be interesting so i want to see apple what is this in the future okay and yeah so far that is what i found in ios 16 especially on the iphone 8 i mean there is a feature with the live text if you guys have a live text compatible uh, phone where you can take an object if for example this iphone i can just tap and hold it and the photos app will immediately have a cutout so you guys can have a cutout png of an object straight from live text with the photos app, which is pretty cool but then again this is an iphone 8 we don't have live text so it is what it is and throughout the keynote the most features are focusing on the maps app so you can see here we got an updated styles we also got stops so you can you guys get so you guys can add multiple stops with your navigations but that is it for ios 16 review on the iphone 8 to be honest like i said in the beginning i handed it the performance right now on beta 1 so you can see if i go to settings general about you can see there's 16.0 and you can see there we now have an arrow so if we tap on that arrow it will tell us more detail with the update so that is actually going to be pretty cool i want to see how it looks like in the future update but again 16.0 we get the p text at the last word right there so it indicates that this is the first beta as you can see in fact everybody's recording this video is still june 7 and like i said the performance are not that good especially playing with the new uh wallpaper here with the new widgets on the new lock screen it didn't play that good on ios 16 guys and battery life also is not that good so again some beta first issues i mean it is what it is so guys um that's enough for the video of ios 16 on the iphone 8 and i think that animation is also new if i tap because on the older ios here let me see you can see there it's faded out but if i tap it just spring back to life with no animation but with ios 16 tap on it so you can see it has a little fade in animation so it has a little animation right there all right so that's enough for the video again it's pretty sad that the iPhone 7 got no love for iOS 16. And especially this guy, my favorite device. I still, oh my God, it's my favorite, man. The iPod Touch 7. 
They are both got unsupported in iOS 16. Sorry, I have night chip on. So what happened if you have these two devices and you guys get no iOS 16? Well, nothing will happen. You probably missed out on this, you know, the new lock screen and some new emojis in the future. But then that's it, you know, app support, I mean, right now, as of right now, June 7, 2022, a lot of apps is still supporting either iOS 10 or iOS 12. So iOS 15 Live is still miles ahead, right? It's still miles ahead. You can still use your iPhone. I mean, look at the iPhone 6. You know, the basic app is still supporting it. You can also, in fact, download an older version as well. So that's enough for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I mean, I wish I will do it on the iPod Touch, but well, we can't. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.